Well, Brian Giggs wasn't in court uh, to hear in the last few minutes those, uh, those not guilty verdicts formally entered by the judge, Hilary Manley, uh, to those uh, three charges. As, as you say, he, it was um, last summer, last August, that a jury was unable to reach a verdict on those, those three charges that he faced, that he'd used controlling and coercive behaviour towards his, his former girlfriend, uh, Kate Greville, over a three-year period, that he'd um, assaulted her, causing actual bodily harm during an incident at the, the home they shared in, in November of 2020, and that uh, he, he assaulted also her sister Emma Greville in that same incident. Now, he was due to, to face a retrial uh, later this uh, month, but as I say, in the last uh, few moments, that, um, that prosecution has been abandoned. The, um, the, the prosecuting counsel, Peter Wright KC, said that the, the welfare of complainants is at the heart of the decision-making process. He said Miss Greville and her sister had given evidence over a number of days in that original trial, and he said it had taken a toll on Kate Greville, and she had indicated that she was unwilling to give evidence uh, again, and after some investigation, they, they realised that, that remained uh, the case. For that, for that reason, he said, there was uh, no longer a realistic uh, a prospect of, of a conviction on that charge of controlling and coercive uh, behaviour, and on those two assault charges, he said it was no longer in the public interest uh, to seek um, uh, to continue with uh, the prosecution. As I say, Ryan Giggs wasn't in court to hear that not guilty, those not guilty verdicts formally entered, but um, his barrister, Chris Dorr, did say that he was relieved that after almost three years of fighting to clear his name, uh, this had happened uh, today. He said uh, his position is he's always been innocent of these charges. Very many lies have been told about him in the investigation and the prosecution. He said he now looks forward to rebuilding his career and life as an innocent man. So those words from Chris Dorr, the barrister for, for Ryan Giggs, as he's formally not guilty of those three charges, and this process comes to an end.